Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Uh, do know that you can find me live every night, uh, not every night, but every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. Today is Sunday, so Sunday night I will be going live at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go ahead and click that subscribe button um, and get that notification when I go live, all right? You can ask questions and there will also be um, a collective reading. All right, so let's get into this cancer. Thank you, God, for blessing cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so cancer, how you're coming to the reading is soulmates, twin flames. So um, you know that somebody is your soulmate, is your twin flame. You've been through a, a real long journey with this person uh, from really high highs to really low lows. I don't know where you are in the journey with this person, but you also, but you know that, um, this is your person on, on some type of level. You also, um, uh, feel spiritually connected to them. You also, you can't get them off your mind. You think about them, you dream about them. You try to shake this person and you can't. They could also feel the same way about you, especially if it's a high level soulmate or a twin flame or whatever you subscribe to. Um, you also know that you met this person for a reason, okay? For your own individual reason, and then for a reason, you know, collectively for the both of you, okay? And 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 them too. They know they met you for a reason, and then there's a reason of why you should be together, why you should come together. Um, you're having a hard time getting over this person, or vice versa. They're having a hard time getting over you because somebody didn't choose you, or you didn't choose the the other somebody, the bet the better choice, the soulmate, the twin flame, okay? What rests between the two of you is gold digger. And this is this is an interesting energy. Somebody didn't choose you or you didn't choose them. Somebody could have chosen somebody who was more sexy, sed uh, seductive, more manipulative, more um, aggressive, uh, maybe even, uh, you know, more more sexual. Uh, there could have been, it, it could be very... Um, materialistic it could be a very toxic relationship to also it could be a relationship that's maybe built on materialism uh this person has this or they look like this or they can take me here or they take me there uh what rests between you is also somebody feeling as if uh you are a gold digger or um maybe the person that they're with or the person that they, they chose you for is a gold digger and now they don't trust anybody or they are they having a hard time trusting or putting yeah they're having a hard time putting their trust in uh, maybe you cancer or vice versa also somebody's having a hard time placing value because maybe they see all women or all men as gold diggers or someone out to take rather than to give um that's an interesting energy that rests between the two of you your person is coming to the reading as you are so immature so your person feels like you're immature for whatever reason um there needs to be some maturity uh that you need to um you need to grow up okay um somebody feels like you need to move past maybe old ways they're old ways for a reason it's time to do something new it's time to have growth there's no thriving in the relationship so there's no movement it's just stagnancy it's stuck somebody feels like you're stuck uh, that you will have them stuck if they continue to stay in this relationship with you. Um, somebody feels like you also need emotional maturity. Uh, you need to learn how to express yourself, be more romantic. Um, some of you, okay, I just heard some of you, your person feels like you need to learn how to express how you're feeling verbally and not just always physically wanting to have sex or acting out sexually or being overly sexual having lots of sexual partners um this is uh how your person feels okay um the outcome to this reading uh is will you have my baby okay so interesting outcome so what that tells me is that somebody here wants a tie that to you or you to them somebody wants to always have a tether to the other person now, it'd be interesting if they said, let's get married or we'll get married and then we'll have a baby and then we'll do. But somebody is more so like, I 
I always want to be bonded to you. I want to be stuck to you. I want to have some um, leverage or some some uh, permanent uh, tie to you. Like somebody just wants to always have access to you. Um, someone could also in here want to weigh you down or, or weight down or, or yeah, weigh you down. Or just always um, have access to you, your life, and what you do, and maybe even tell you what to do. This could be you, Cancer, or it could be the other person, but somebody always wants to have access to you. And that's how I'm more so picking up the card, the meaning of the card. You know, someone could physically want you to have the baby, but why? You know, and, and the why could be that they always want to have access to you. Them, do they want to do the right thing and marry you and be with you and be in a commitment and a committed relationship and show up to the relationship every single day? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe so. But they definitely want to always have um, you in their life or them in your life. So um, you're personally going to have chosen like some player, playboy, playgirl over you. They're very insecure. And maybe this person... They're like a notch under their belt or or it's um, a trophy. They also could look at you as a trophy cancer. Um, somebody is saying, wait for me, okay? It's like they, they need to do something or they're trying to do something or maybe they're trying to untether themselves and now they want to get tethered to you. Interesting energy cancer. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. If you have questions, you can always find me live. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, where you can ask a question. Uh, you can also um, go over to the website, book there, ask a question by texting it to the number below. You could donate to the channel by clicking the Buy L, a coffee link. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Bye.